Hey YouTube, this is Gwen. I am back, long time no see. You like my shirt? 840T did this for me. Go check them out. And um, so I'm gonna just jump right into this video because it can be kind of long because I've learned so much about my locks in just three months. So initially I wanted large locks. And so I didn't kind of care that some of my parts were pretty large. But as I found out, because these were smaller on the side, that the larger locks were harder to lock. And they also were harder to clean, which I didn't find out until I started combing them out. Um, and I had like three, you know, I didn't have product buildup, but I had like three that had skin, scalp, maybe from when my hair had got too dry. And so it was only in the larger ones. So the larger ones are harder to clean. And you really, not saying that they can't be clean, but you have to really get in there and shampoo those larger locks. And so also initially, I just thought, oh, I'm gonna part my hair in four sections and just do 16 locks per section because it's so balanced and just logical. But it really does not work like that because your hair has, well, my hair has different densities. Like the right side of my head is more dense than the left. Therefore, I have more locks on the right than the left side because you can't make the same part on each side of your head if you have different densities. I mean, you could, but the locks are gonna look, you know, they're gonna be different because you have more hair in this lock than this lock. And so, you know, hair density, hair texture, the top of my head, my crown is so coarse, like, and it's not a bad thing. My locks were much firmer in the top of my head. So it's not a bad thing. It's just that I noticed that those locked furs, they're firmer. And then I have a section here in the back that is really soft. I have a really loose curl pattern there and they were just kind of flat. So, you know, I learned that about my locks and my lock date is December 31st, 2020. And it took me about three days because I was stopping and going. And it took me about three or four days to comb out the locks as well. Cause I noticed they were just really big. And I'll try to put some pictures in as well. And you'll see the difference in changing the amount of locks that I had. And so initially I had 64. I don't know how many locks I have now. I have no idea. One day I will count them, but it won't be today because I just finished putting these two strand twists in to change the number of locks that I'll have. And another thing that I learned was that oil is not a bad thing, but you have to use oil correctly on locks. A lot of people you see just dousing their hair with oil. There's something you have to realize about oil. First of all, oil attracts lint, dirt from the atmosphere. So be careful when you use oil. I only do oil rinses now, and it works out great because I get the benefits of the oil without attracting the lint. Which brings me to people making me believe that if you have locks, you got lint. Not true at all. My husband has been locked for seven years now. This man has no lint in his locks. And I couldn't figure out why he does not cover his locks. He does, he just does whatever. And he, the thing that I realize is he does not oil his locks. He washes them. He conditions them and that is it. He doesn't put extra oil in his hair. He may use a spray bottle with some water and tea tree. I mean, rarely, hardly ever. You know, that's just something that I noticed. And I had no lint in my locks, none, no lint. And so don't accept that if you have locks, you have lint, cause that's not true. Look at what you're putting in your hair and you'll probably find an answer there. And also every day I check my hair for lint 
flip it up, move it around and look. And then I have them look too to see if they see any lint in my hair. So that's another thing. And, you know, I wash my hair at least weekly. More lately, it's been twice a week because clean hair locks faster. You know, is, is your hair slipping or gripping? If you have too much oil and products, it's slipping. It's not gripping and locking. So, you know, that's something you have to consider as well. Um, I've come to the conclusion that I probably need to retwist my hair. Um, well, when, when my locks were larger, I learned that I needed to do them more frequently because for some reason, the larger locks kind of grabbed other hairs and just kind of grew out of their territory. But the smaller locks kind of stay put. So I guess that's something else I'll learn this next three months about the smaller locks, how, you know, maintenance as far as that goes. But something that I did notice, like the more you retwist, the thinner the lock. So if you want bigger locks, spread out your retwist or don't retwist them, you know, but if you genetically have thin hair, you're going to have thin locks. Growing locks will thicken your hair. You know, we do different things to our hair and it damages it. And once you stop manipulating it so much, your hair, you know, it does its thing. It revives itself. It thickens up some. So you'll have some thickness from that. But if you generally genetically have thin hair, you're going to have thin hair, thin locks. Um, something else that I'll, oh, build up, air dry. Okay, uh, some people say they, they can't air dry their locks. Well, something, another thing that my husband and I discovered is if you have product buildup or anything in your hair, it's going to be harder to air dry your hair. And so once he stopped putting all the products in his hair at seven years, he can air dry his hair again because he's not, you know, he's not putting anything in it. He was using different gels, Taliwa G, uh, Jamaican uh, mango products different products he was using to retwist his hair and now he just retwists with water and tea tree oil so something else that we learned and when you're doing your locks pay attention to the base of your lock because that will kind of give you an idea about how big your lock will be so pay attention to the base of the lock and pay attention to the density of your hair because that will affect lock size as well. And I think I covered everything. I was trying not to let this video be too long. And so I think I covered everything. So I will see you in three months for another lock update. Stay tuned though for my other videos that don't have anything to do with locks. So I'll see you in the next video. Bye.